come on in. We're going to get started here. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Sylvia Okafor. This is my pal, Michael Aldridge. And we're here to talk to you about how you can kickstart your Microsoft 365 development with the Office 365 Dev Program. So how many of you have heard us talking about Microsoft 365 as a developer platform at Build? Yes, show of hands, show of hands. I know it's early, but raise them high so I can at least see them. Yes, no? All right, so that's what I'd like to see. We're doing our job. How does the Office 365 Dev Program fit into that? Well, the Office 365 Dev Program has integrated with 75% of the Microsoft 365 platform. So if you're a SharePoint developer or a Teams developer, we are the best place for you to get started with Microsoft 365 development. We connect you, the developer, to the tools, resources, and expertise you need to build solutions on top of the Microsoft 365 platform. We also engage directly with our developer community to understand what your tough problems are and how we can continue building solutions to help make Microsoft 365 development easy. For example, last year at Build, you guys gave us really great feedback. The first thing you said was, hey, everything is scattered. How do I find all the information for all of these different products? What we've done is we've introduced the Microsoft Resources Gallery. This is where we pull together tools, SDKs, samples, training, blog posts, etc. We pull it all into one place, making it easy to find and saving you time as you onboard to the Microsoft 365 platform. You can filter by product or technology, or you can search for something if you know exactly what you're trying to find. The second thing you guys said last year is, hey, I need help. Where can I get access to experts? And so what we started doing is we started doing 10 to 13 monthly community calls with our community. What we do is you can call in and have a conference call with the PMs and engineers that work on your specific technology, which range from Office add-ins, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, and the whole Microsoft 365 platform. You call in, you can get your questions answered or dive a little bit deeper with the PMs and engineers for those platforms. We also do boot camps, and these start in the early October time frame. But what it is is you can come in for on-site training on how you can better leverage the Microsoft 365 platform. It's all day. It's you and a group of PMs and engineers working side by side on the solution that you're trying to build. Lastly, the biggest thing that we heard last year was, hey, I'm a corporate developer, and it is way too hard to get started. I have my admin won't give me my own tenant. Your process, it takes 16 steps. I have to add in a credit card. It's too hard. Make it easy for me. And so what we did is, as a benefit of the Office 365 dev program, you get a free Office E3 subscription. That comes with 25 user licenses, and with our process, you can get set up in less than five minutes. And just, yes, let that sink in, less than five minutes. No credit card, no 16 steps, it's that easy. And I will show you exactly how easy it is by doing it live, I will get one right here. You know, Sylvia, I think we ought to time it so that we time can it. actually keep I'm, you accountable I'm, about I'm that, that five minute claim. So <laughs> I've got my timer on my Apple Watch Don't here ready. Don't start it yet, hold on. <laughs> I'm ready to the rock. The one thing to join the dev program, so you're gonna go to this link, aka.ms0365 dev program. And let's see if I can get it up here. Just skip the verification. Just skip the verification. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but it didn't come up. Yeah, hold on. Oh, there it goes. Good thing I had yeah. it up anyways. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, 365. There, there it is. All right. So you go to that link and you can join the dev program here. I've already joined, so I'm gonna go directly into the dashboard. When you sign up, you get to the dashboard. You can make preferences. We'll serve you content based off of those preferences. So your events, blogs, videos, code samples, those are all based on the preferences I picked when I signed up. But all right, ready, Michael? Are you ready is the question. Start that timer. Okay, so it's I going. So I set up subscription. I can create a username. I'm just going to go ahead and use my name. No pressure. It's I only five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> then I can create a password. I'm just going to do that here. 
All right. That's step one. Phone number. I'm going to actually use Michael's phone because I see he has his phone right here. That's so. Right. You better buy me a coffee later. Otherwise, I might be really ah. slow giving you this code. <laughs> if we go over five minutes, you can blame him. Okay. All right. They said they sent Your it. Your code is 91185. That's it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm adding so much value here. And how much time do we have? What are we at? You're at 48 seconds, 49 seconds, 50 seconds, 51, 52. So you're, you're doing okay. All right. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm going to blame this little last part on how many people are in here and all of you on, your, on the internet. There it is. How, what's the time? Whoa. Call it. That was one minute and five seconds. You see? Woo! It was three steps. Not bad. I didn't enter a credit card. I have my office subscription One ready minute to go. and five seconds. Way to rock. And so as you can see here, so my subscription is here. I see my domain name. I have when it expires. And I have my 25 user licenses. And so as you can see, I have 92 days left right now. So as you, when you join, you get 90 days right off the bat. As long as you develop on the platform and continue to develop, we will continue to renew your subscription. So you get it in perpetuity as long as you're developing on the platform. Yeah? Thank you. That's that's the first part of the Office Dev program. I'm going to kick it over to Michael to show you some more cool stuff. Hey, thanks, Sylvia. Let me get the slides back up for everybody. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Sylvia. As, as you can see, uh, we tackled one of the top problems, which is just getting access to uh, a place that you can actually start playing with the Office 365 platform and all the aspects of Teams, SharePoint, uh, as well as Office add-ins and Microsoft Graph. Um, and it's been an amazing year. We, we literally launched this a little over a year ago. Sylvia and I have been hard at work over the last year and a half on this. We have over 130,000 members now, which we're super excited about. Um, 80,000 dev subscriptions have been delivered, or nearly 80. Um, and um, what's really cool is that um, it's happening from all over the world, globally. So 75% of all of our members are coming from these top 10 countries, of which only 15% are the United States. So that's super exciting momentum that we have. And we're trying to make it easier for people to actually get to the dev program, particularly for those of you that have Visual Studio Pro and Visual Studio Enterprise subscriptions. And we're announcing today at Build that uh, for Visual Studio professional members, you're going to now be able to actually get access to the Office 365 developer program right from your Visual Studio portal. So you can go to myvisualstudio.com if you already have a subscription, and you can click on that tile right there and be able to begin the process to uh, go into the program. We actually federate your Visual Studio ID so that we actually know you're from Visual Studio. And then your subscription actually doesn't last just 90 days. It lasts as long as your subscription to Visual Studio lasts, which is a really nice benefit. So there's really two fundamental ways that you can actually access our program. If you're a developer with Visual Studio Pro or Enterprise, you can get that perpetual subscription um, and go into My Visual Studio Benefits. Uh, if you're a developer that doesn't have Visual Studio Pro or Visual Studio Enterprise, no problem. We do offer a free option right at our uh, aka.ms0365 dev program link. Um, and that can give you that free subscription that Sylvia just demonstrated. So uh, I wanted to talk about another fundamental problem that developers talked to us about last year. And that was, OK, fine, I, I've got my dev subscription, but it's really hard to actually build a sandbox. It's incredibly time consuming. You make me have to go to a lot of different places. I have to spend a lot of time building a bunch of fake sample data in order to try some of these scenarios. And so one of the things that we're announcing here at Build that's coming in June, whoops. Other way. There we go. Yeah. It helps if I use the right direction. <laughs> there we go. One of the things we're announcing is that in, in June, we'll be actually releasing two sample packs for Microsoft Graph, uh, users um, and mail and events. And this gives you the foundation of sample data where you're going to actually get 16 users plus uh, pre-populated mail. These are fake users, fake users with fake metadata so that you can play around with it. And you don't have to actually make this stuff up yourself. Um, and so I'm going to be demonstrating that in, in just a minute. And then later on in the, later on in the summer, we're going to be releasing uh, two sample packs for SharePoint and OneDrive. And we're working very closely with Vesa and his uh, SharePoint PNP team and the new SharePoint provisioning service that he's launching. Um, and we're going to actually integrate that 
into the dev program so that you can actually, on top of this sample data for users and mail events, it'll all work together. And there's richer scenarios you can be starting to do with SharePoint as well as with OneDrive. So this is a way in which we're trying to automate some of the labor-intensive process uh, that it takes to actually get a sandbox up and running. So what can I do with this sample data once I have it? Well, if you've got the user data installed, you can actually start looking at these kinds of graph scenarios. And if you actually install the events in mailboxes, you're going to actually be able to, to add to that with these kinds of fundamental graph scenarios. So these are kind of beginner places you can use Microsoft Graph and the, new and the Graph Explorer, if you haven't played around with that, to be able to actually look at this. And you can see these are the kinds of active users that we would add into that. They would have fake names, photos, metadata, and then we would create calendar events. So what I do is I wanted to show you how we integrated this into the experience that Sylvia just demonstrated. So once I've actually got my subscription, in June, we'll, you'll actually see that there's a bunch of space down here um, where uh, if you look down here, uh, there's a tile that says Users, Mail and Events, SharePoint, and OneDrive. So if I click on the, uh, the Users one, it's going to ask me to add 16 sample users with licenses, mailboxes, including the metadata and photos. And so I'm going to need to have my administrator ID and my password. Uh, your administrator ID is already presented to you in your tile, so you can just plop that in, and you're going to have to remember your password. Um, and then the next step, you're going to have to have this validated, and you're going to have to have your permissions uh, accepted. This is a little bit of an ugly full screen process. We wish we could have made it a little more elegant, but it is what it is. But we've, we've, we've got that here for you. And then the other thing we're going to do is these are fake users, remember. And in order for us to have a really streamlined installation experience for you, we're going to ask you to do something very counterintuitive for all of us. And that is we want to actually have one shared password for those fake users. It, this makes it easier for you to administer and install other things uh, in the future as well. So you're going to put in that one shared password here. Um, and then we go to the next step, and we begin installation. And now this is going to take probably about 15 to 20 minutes. So we're not going to, unfortunately, we only have a 20 minute session, so we, we can't actually <laughs> show that for you here today. But um, you can go have a cup of coffee. It'll actually be installing in background. Or you can go you know, surf the internet, whatever you'd like to do. And then uh, once that installation's done, you're going to actually get confirmation. And you're going to be able to begin the next step, which is installing your mail and events. And so we recommend that you do both of these, because the other sample packs that we'll have later are dependent upon both of these things being in place. So then you uh, add your mail and events by clicking that tile. Get it installed. And there you go. And you're done. So very quick, streamlined process. Probably will take roughly, you know, it, both of these sample packs together will probably take maybe 35 minutes max to basically install. Um, and you're not having to go and spend tons of time creating all this yourself. So I think you've heard from Sylvia and myself in the time that we've had that um, We've, we've really tried in the, to, to make the Office Developer Program really the best place to begin Microsoft 365 development. And there's some really critical ways that I want to just recap here. First, and by the way, take a picture of this because it's a great way to remember how you can join the program if you haven't joined already. Uh, first, we, we talk about solving the, the problem of easily getting you uh, an Office subscription that you can use for development purposes. Second, we're now starting to give you dev sandbox creation tools that allow you to automate some of the laborious process of creating sample data. We're also giving you access to Microsoft 365 experts across Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive, uh, Office add-ins, Microsoft Graph. There's an amazing number of community calls that you can join to actually get deeper understanding directly from the people who've created the technology. Um, not, and we, we can't forget about the tools, training, and documentation, and the ability to get newsletters where we're actually giving you monthly newsletters about things that are important to you and new developments uh, with the Microsoft 365 platform. So uh, I want to thank you all for attending today. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, we can certainly ask a few questions now. I think uh, we've got roughly about five minutes for questions. The other thing I would like you to know is uh, Sylvia and I are running some focus groups tomorrow. So if you're interested to participate as a developer in our focus groups on the Office Developer Program or some focus groups on Office JS, please come to us and we'd be happy to sign you up and we'll send you an invite today. So thank you again for your time and I hope you have a great Build 2019. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, right sir.
Uh, let me just repeat your question. You already have an Azure subscription. Can you bind your Azure subscription? Similar to how we do Visual Studio. Uh, well, you, you, when you say you have your Azure subscription, you can definitely use it with the, with the, the tenant like you can any other tenant. Yeah. Uh, creating. Okay. That I don't think we may be able to do. So w we should talk about that. I'd love to understand if you. If let's talk about that afterwards. I'd love to understand more about your scenario because those are kinds of things that we want to learn and figure out what we can do in the future. So absolutely. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Great question. Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, I, I failed to mention that, but Teams is definitely one of the content packs we want to develop. We don't have a definite time frame yet. We're working with the Teams yep. team on that. Um, they were super excited to see what we were doing with SharePoint, and they definitely want to join. Um, and so that's one of the things that we're going to be working on in the next year. So say, stay tuned about Teams, but absolutely we're going to want to have Teams as one of our content packs. Yes, sir. So the great question. So he's asking, uh, is, is there an option for the community to create the content packs? Um, that's we Basically, uh, with SharePoint PMP, they actually have a very strong community. And I know Teams is building one. Um, uh, and that's an interesting idea. In fact, um, we might want to explore that. But we don't have a definite plan. But I think it's a really cool idea. How do, how do we integrate the community is a, is a wonderful, wonderful thought that we should think about for the next year. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Any other? All right. No? OK. Well, Thanks. if anybody's interested to join our focus group, please come and talk to us. Uh, we'll be right over here. Sylvia and I will be right over here. Thank you again. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. And be happy to follow up with you, sir, as well.